The Refine Selection tool is a great partner to the Selection Brush tool and it allows you to accurately separate the subject from its background. What we have here is a, a, a kind of like a mock-up and I want to place a, a document or it could be an image uh, equally onto here and then cut it out. So let's just do that now. I'll do File, Place and I'll choose shape line some address and then I'll drag onto the page my document. So I'll just uh, adjust that so it's nicely centered. Maybe that's fine. Okay so if I double click this to, uh, this is an embedded document, so if I double click it I can access and load up the original uh, image First of all, I need to make a selection of the subject from its background. So if I go to Pixel Persona and then choose Selection Brush Tool, I can then paint on the background actually because this is quite a uniform color and it's a lot less complex than the uh, subject itself. And I can make my selection quite quickly. Now, what I do need to do here is invert this selection. So at the moment the background selected so if I go to select invert pixel selection I've now just got my subject selected quickly. I can just fine-tune slightly a little bit more here and but from there I think we can go and refine so let's at the context toolbar on the selection brush tool we can click refine and this is where we can paint on the subject and on the edge of the selection area using this red overlay as a guide. So I'll just zoom into the area here and we'll just reposition. And I just change the brush size, make it slightly bigger. And then I want to paint just on the edge over the hair Anywhere where the hair is just extending out from the subject's body. And you can see it's uh, analysing the, uh, the foreground and the background and it's separating out the hair from uh, everything else. So I'll just do the same round here. You can start to build up a, a really good and more accurate outline. There we are. And even some areas behind the hair there that just shown through, it will pick up the red just as easily. Now if I just scroll downwards, this is a classic example of where the uh, refined selection brush does a really good job. So I can just paint down like that. And you can see that that's now included. So it's always, always a good idea to just run down the outline generally just to get a super accurate edge. And we'll do the same here. And hopefully this area too. Ah, okay, so here's a good example of where we could use a different approach to uh, refining selection. Instead of using the, the, the magic um, refinement brush, we can use a different uh, a brush instead of the matte one and it's called foreground. So in here I can just simply just can you see that there we're just painting away that area to make the edge super accurate. Okay that's uh, that's pretty much how I want the outline to look. I'll just quickly review Zoom in, look for any other areas. Oh, there's one area there, so I can just click on that again. Remember, jump back to the matte brush and just click on that, and that's picked that out there and separated it from the subject. And now all that's left to do is to uh, create an output from that. 
And we can output in several ways. We can output just the selection area uh, around the outline of the subject, or we can immediately bypass the selection and create a selection from, um, rather create a mask from the selection. I can click mask and then apply. And there we have the subject separated from the background super accurately. We go back to our main document. Because it's embedded, it's updated automatically. And you'll see we get incredibly accurate results.